Well, first of all, I'm having an amazing morning on an amazing golf course. This is Gossick, and hopefully you've watched my full video of me playing around here. But there is also another video that I'm filming. It's my what's in the bag. It's very much requested by you, and it's how things are looking at the end of 2023. There's a couple of additions that I think you're going to be really interested in. Right, so next up is the driver, and if you've been watching the channel of late, then you already know what this is. Very simple and straightforward again, tailor-made mini burner driver, the latest model this year, which first of all looks superb, retro feel to the whole thing, but more importantly than the looks, obviously it's the performance. Shorter shaft, 300cc head, I've got 13.5 degree head, notched down 2 degrees to 11.5, I find fairways or more fairways with it than I do a driver with a 45 inch shaft and it just seems to really, really work. So it's about the only thing I've got in common with Tommy Fleetwood, but we both play that tailor-made mini driver, the burner version. I've got the weight shifted at the back. I think it's 13 or 15 gram at the back, 1.5 gram at the front. I love this thing and I've already said, it's gonna take something special to get it out my bag in 2024. So next up the irons in my bag well I was fitted for these with in terms of shaft a few years back and I've stuck with exactly the same shaft it is steel fiber it's now I-95 stiff so it's a little bit lighter than I used to use but steel fiber shaft is something that I really really suits my swing again a bit like the Pro Force shaft in a mini driver I think that's key to how you perform with these things. Um, they're the PXG 0317 T irons. T stands for tour. Am I a tour player? Absolutely not. Why did they call them tour irons? I've no idea because these are very, very playable irons. Very, 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 very forgiving. They're foam filled, but they're almost blade like in terms of their overall profile. And that's the key for me. First time I've been able to get a set of irons that I really wanted to play, which is more like a blade style. That's what I like the look of but with help and forgiveness that foam injected irons, modern irons provide. And they've just been superb. Really thin sole, fairly thin top line, overall small profile. Like I said, so, so forgiving for a very small looking set of irons. Thing to note, I still like carrying my clubs wherever possible. I only play realistically a bit more than a half set probably. I've got wedge through to six iron. That's the irons that I carry. I'll even probably move one or two of those out as well if I'm on for a bit of a Sunday stroll. So not a lot of irons, but I love it in these things. They perform well, they feel superb, and they've got a bit of forgiveness. What more do you want, eh? Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Hot Golf, the online golf retailer for all major brands. And if you want new golf gear, then please support us by supporting them. The next up in the bag is a bit of a contentious one in that it's been swapped around a little bit. My lab putter right now is back in the van and at the moment I've got a Battle Ready 2 and this is the Blackjack putter from PXG. And if I'm honest with you, I'm switching between the two. I've told the story before on why I love the lab putter, but why I always feel like it's sort of starting again every time I get out on a golf course. So unless I've got a lot of time to practice before I go out and play, then I'm just going for a straightforward face balanced mallet. And I'll be honest with you, I can pretty much play any of those style of putters and I don't find them too dissimilar. The things I'm, I like about this particular uh, putter and why it was fit for me, it's a pistol two grip, it's a thicker grip, which I like. It's also face balanced, which I've just mentioned. I love the weighting system in these putters. But the other thing for me that's been really interesting in this PXG Battle Ready 2 is they introduced its hollow body with foam filled, much like we've seen in a lot of the irons nowadays and it just gives a much better feel in my hands. It's a balance between sound and feel that I really like. Strong alignment aid, face balance always suits me. It's very simple and straightforward. And that's the putter that is in my bag with a little bit of switch around with the lab every now and again. For it there, I thought it was gonna go in. So wedges, uh, Callaway Jaws wedges, had these jaws raw I'm just reading as well had these for quite some time they're starting to wear a little bit now I've actually got a 56 and a 52 but I only generally carry a 56 in my sort of half set and the reason for it's the most versatile number for me I can play it from bunkers I can play it up in the air in terms of flop shots and I can uh, close the face and just knock it down a little bit like I did there 
it's just an all round very versatile wedge. And I said in the original review, they do some incredible sort of chamfering on the leading edge and then all around the sole, but the leading edge in particular sits really tight. And I like that off Lynx turf. It's something that I'm really uh, sort of comfortable with. And like I said, it just allows me to manipulate the face quite a lot. So 56 degree wedge, but plays with a lot of versatility and uh, like the feel out of them, love the way they look. And I just got really familiar with them over the last, I think 18 months or so, and uh, a definite thumbs up. So two wedges, 56, 52, but only really carry the 56. Right, next up, Fairway Woods, and I say Fairway Woods, Fairway Wood, because there's only one that I carry, and it's something that I uh, spout on a lot about on the channel, is having plenty of loft in your Fairway Woods, and I either like a five or a seven, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I carry in the main a five wood. Um, it's a PXG 0311 Gen 6, and it's 18 degrees set as standard. The other key to mention for me is uh, it's a fitted club for me. It's 10 side blue. 65 gram stiff just again the key for me is like all the clubs that have ended up staying in my bag because i mentioned i try a lot of them they've all been custom fit and for me that's all about the shaft so getting that shaft head combination is key but the shaft being paramount so yet again i love five woods in general i don't want this what's in the bag to be too much dominated about what brand you use for me, it's about a set of clubs that as an average golfer, I find really sort of user friendly. So five wood, play it off the tee, which I'm about to do now. I can play it from the rough. I can play it from the fairway. You know, it's just a really versatile club. And you already know my opinion on like extra three woods where I just haven't got enough um, club head speed to generate what I really need to see the difference between these two types of clubs. And then, like I said, I've also got a seven wood, which uh, depending on where I'm playing, will now and again pop into the bag. But that's again, all about just being super easy to play. So only one fairway wood in the bag on a regular basis, and it's that five wood. Right, so I said I just went up to six iron, and then I've got five wood, and then somewhere in between all that, I stick in a hybrid. It's a four hybrid, sometimes a five hybrid. Again, both exactly the same model, 0311 XF in the Gen 6 lineup. And again, more importantly, that shaft again is 10 side blue. So in my hybrids and my fairway woods, always 10 side blue shaft, stiff, different weights, obviously, between that a hybrid and a fairway wood. Um, but again, super stable, uh, does things that I can't do with a five iron and a four iron. And again, that goes down to me being able to generate club head speed and just a bit more versatile than a five and a four iron in the bag as well, to be honest with you, because although I'm gonna play it again from the tee as my next shot, I can play it out the rough, I can play it from the fairway. You can even, I like playing these from in and around the green as an option for a bump and run shot as well. So loads more versatility and far better performance in terms of ball flight as well than I can achieve with longer irons in the bag nowadays. So yeah, up to six iron, then I go into a four, maybe a five hybrid at times, then into a five wood, perhaps a seven wood. So that's the kind of versatility of how I swap it around, but essentially that is my bag made up and then obviously into that driver. Now I said there was a new addition in the bag and well, that's not quite true because it's actually on my wrist and it's uh, this little thing here and it's not a GPS system and it's not a watch either. It's from a company called The Wiz. I did a review on this um, in recent weeks and I cannot tell you just how impressive it is. It basically analyzes your swing and there's a number of um, different aspects of your swing. But for me, I'd like you to go back and watch that full review if you're interested in it. But what I'm using it for whilst I'm playing golf and I'm on playing golf today, it's all about measuring my transition. I've got a bad habit, as many of you will know, in sort of a casting motion from the top of the backswing into the downswing. And this watch, I say watch, this analyzer helps me massively in trying to eradicate that. And it's something that I can't see right now, but post round, I can go and have a look and see exactly how my swing has been performing. So the new thing in the bag it's not actually in the bag, it's on my wrist. Now, some people ask me what ball I play, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not too fussy over golf balls, as long as it's of a sort of, sit in the middle somewhere in terms of a price bracket, I reckon you can get some damn good balls right now for average golfers at least. 
The thing I'm using at the moment quite often is this ball from Seed. It's the XDX1, I think that's correct anyway. But it's the jack and it's got this uh, strange sort of uh, alignment aid and also assists in sort of uh, really recognizing whether you're rolling the ball very well off the putter face. So that's been a really good ball. Um, but I'll be perfectly honest with you, you could switch me up into uh, probably a dozen different golf balls and uh, I'm not really that fussed. All I like, I like sound and feel, particularly in and around the greens and I prefer the soft side as well. So uh, that ball amongst a load of others does well, but that's the one that I generally play with at the minute. Right, that's my round of Gossick finished and oh my God, what an afternoon I've had here. Uh, make sure you check out that video. But this of course is a what's in a bag and uh, no major changes. I don't think, I think the biggest thing for me was maybe the irons, them 03. 17s were maybe a bit of a surprise for you and for me and a bit of encouragement as well that there's a blade out there that I think can appeal to many more uh, golfers than it might suggest. The other big difference for me was this DeWiz uh, wrist device, whatever you want to call it, swing analyzer, which I've been, it's been useful. It's not going to eradicate overnight, but the things I've been working on in my game, it's certainly played a major part. And I'll see how that progresses over the year. I'm not really a gadget man, and I think there's a very simplistic way of doing things and me understanding and learning and hopefully improving just a little bit. Anyway, that's the plan. Look, simple and straightforward, that's me done. That's my what's in the bag. If I've not covered anything, then please ask a question in the comments section down below and I'll do my best to reply. But for now, I'm gonna warm up a little bit and uh, I'll see you all soon.